Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing of this OnePlus 70 Pro. Uh, I don't know how long the name will go and I'm confused with this product. But anyways, uh, let's just unbox it. And this is the successor to the OnePlus uh, 7 uh, Pro. So let me just take it out, easier to peel this way. And this says OnePlus uh, 70 Pro over here. And uh, as you can see, uh, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. And this is the his uh, blue variant. And guys, this is a review unit, so I don't know the exact pricing, but I'll add that in the description. I feel the pricing will uh, not be very different from the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro. But let's see, uh, does this actually make any sense? Because now we also have the OnePlus uh, 70, which is actually a pretty good device. But anyways, let's open this up and uh, we have some paperwork. And again, that uh, letter by OnePlus founder and stuff you have it over here. It's by Pete. I'll just keep that to the side. And we also get some stickers here and uh, one more uh, with a pamphlet which gives you an idea about the ports and stuff, safety and regulatory, uh, all that paperwork I'll keep to the side. And uh, here we have the actual device itself uh, in this uh, blue color. In fact, uh, this is actually very close to, this is the original one. There's a slight difference in the colors, as you can see. Uh, the older one is slightly darker. This is slightly on the lighter side, but yeah, the gradient effect is a lot more. And from the back, uh, actually looks almost the same, except for this one. And I believe that is for macro shots. That's something new. Anyways, we'll look at the device later. Let's see what else do we get in the box. And, uh, we get a, a transparent uh, case again frankly speaking this uh, device might be closer to 50,000 they should have given a better quality case uh, than this one but this is what we get sim ejector tool uh, usb type c cable and now we are actually having this uh, new wrap charger that is the 30t and uh, this is supposed to be uh, charging even faster slightly faster according to oneplus documentation about 23 percent faster but this is also a 30 watt uh, charger so that's what we get in the box so let me keep these things to the side and then let's have a closer look at the handset so here we have the handset itself uh, and guys uh, uh, to be frank uh, in terms of looks and everything very similar to the original uh, oneplus 7 pro as you can see almost the same looks like that back only as i've told you we have something extra over here but anyways let me give you a physical overview we still have that pop-up camera it's a 16 megapixel front-facing camera we also have a secondary noise cancellation microphone uh, we have the alert slider over here uh, this is the power on off button bottom vent would be the speaker type c port and uh, this is your sim tray uh, this will be again uh, dual sim nano uh, oneplus never gives what do you say uh, micro sd card slot so yeah again uh, one sim over here one sim over here uh, this is the same thing we saw even with the one plus 70 and uh, over here we have the uh, volume rockers and uh, uh, back we have the triple camera setup let me remove this um, and the main camera is still a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586, but uh, the aperture is uh, f1.6. So hopefully this should do a lot better in uh, low lighting, artificial lighting. And then we have that 8 megapixel uh, zoom. This is a 3x uh, zoom. Even for the 48 megapixel, we have optical image stabilization. And uh, then uh, we have the 16 megapixel, which is the, actually that ultra wide. And front facing is the pop-up 16 megapixel. So that's for the physical overview. So let me do one thing, guys. Let me and quickly just uh, power this up i hope it has a charge and by the time it actually boots up and i set it up let me give you a configuration overview this oneplus 70 pro is having a 6.67 inch amoled uh, screen which is a quad hd plus screen with 90 hertz uh, refresh it's powered by the new snapdragon 855 plus soc it comes with 8 gigabytes of ram storage will be about 256 gigabytes it also has dolby atmos and display fingerprint scanner moving to the camera it has a triple rear facing camera 48 megapixel is the main uh, camera then we have a 8 megapixel that's a 3x zoom and 16 megapixel that's ultra wide we also have 16 megapixel front facing camera and a 4085 milliamp hour battery with the new wrap charger so guys i've set up this device and again typical oxygen os that you're finding on this one again uh, pretty clean that's what always oneplus has so no bloatware uh, apart from some uh, oneplus uh, apps community apps and transfer apps netflix is actually preloaded on this one and uh, again uh, left we have the uh, never settled like their pain 
over here and i'm using the new gesture navigation guys uh, you can set it but this is the default uh, one that you get uh, with android 10 and this comes with out of the box with android 10 same similar uh, what do you say toggles over here we also have the zen mode and uh, if you go over here if we go to about the phone as you can see it's running on android version 10 which is the latest version of uh, android so you're getting this out of the box that's a good thing uh, but again even your older oneplus devices should be getting the uh, android 10 very soon uh, so that's uh, regarding that and if you go over here and uh, if you look at the storage uh, out of that uh, 256 about 227 uh, gigabytes is sort of available to you about 30 gb is sort of used so that's regarding the storage on this one and again this is typical uh, what do you say uh, uh, oxygen OS that you are uh, getting so very familiar clean uh, UI so in terms of performance you shouldn't have a problem and this is also having the 90 hertz screen now all oneplus devices will be having that as you can see and by default it was set to 90 hertz uh, not 60 that's what I've noticed uh, so again this is also having that curved uh, uh, screen uh, similar to the oneplus 70 so in terms of physical differences I couldn't find uh, much apart from that back as I've told you that camera for that macro it's very similar now uh, let's also look at the uh, in display fingerprint scanner it's over here and yes it's still fast as you can see uh, so now let's uh, also talk about the cameras on this one again a triple camera setup but uh, they say they also have a new macro mode uh, with this one uh, so let's uh, look at it and if you fire up this uh, as you can see we are finding the typical stuff 1x that's the regular that's the 48 megapixel and then we also have this 3x uh, zoom and again this is also optical uh, zoom plus you can even do EIS and then we finally have that wide angle lens as you can see it goes really really wide uh, but another uh, new thing that I've noticed is here over here if you click it goes into the super macro mode and now so that's the big difference that I've noticed and in video what I have noticed is that by default it's set to 4k and here we don't have the wide angle lens but if I go back to 1080p then it's allowing me uh, to shoot the video in wide angle as you can see this was the regular in wide angle but in 4k it's actually not allowing us uh, to shoot in the wide angle so that's something that I've noticed and front facing cameras that pop up in video in the photo uh, as you can see it's like this in video it's cropping because it employs electronic image stabilization huge crop as you can see this is in the photo and we also have that portrait uh, mode over here and we also have the nightscape uh, so let me do one thing guys let me actually shoot some photographs with this one so that you have a better idea regarding the camera so these are the samples this was taken in the regular this is 3x zoom and this is wide angle one more example regular this is the wide angle and now moving to close-up macro shots as you can see we got some incredible shots thanks to that new uh, macro lens capabilities. Again, this is regular shot, this is that 3x zoom, and this was that wide angle. Some more random shots, and as you can see, got some very good detail. Now moving to human subject, this is the regular shot. This is that uh, portrait zoom, and this is the portrait regular, and this was a wide angle lens. What I've noticed with the wide angle lens, and sometimes as you notice, it can go out of focus. And now some more samples, as you can see, it does actually a pretty good job in terms of skin tones. Now moving to indoor uh, lighting here also, I felt that it actually did a pretty good job as you can see from the samples. But when it comes to human subjects in artificial lighting conditions, as you can see, the images are washed out. They have a lot of noise and I tested it again and again, I got the same results. So I feel there's a big bug as of now and it really needs an OTA update for uh, human shots in indoor lighting. Now moving to the front facing camera, as you can see, it did actually a pretty good job, not only outdoors, but even in indoor and artificial lighting. Recording this video with the rear facing camera and I've set it to 1080p guys, because with the 1080p, as you can see, this is normal mode and I can switch between the wide angle and even the zoom mode. But uh, when I'm keeping it in 4K, it's just allowing me in the regular mode, not in the wide angle mode. And I'm just going to walk and it should, uh, the footage should be good because it's employing both optical image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization. But you let me know what do you think about the same. And I feel uh, OnePlus should allow us to record video even in the wide angle mode uh, in 4K because surprisingly it does allow with the OnePlus 70. Now recording this video with the front facing camera of this OnePlus 70 Pro and again as it has electronic image stabilization it does tend to zoom in quite a bit in the video mode so again that you have to be aware of that and you have to really stretch your hands otherwise it will zoom in like this uh, but yeah 
uh, the footage should be fine because it's doing electronic image stabilization but you guys let me know what do you think about the footage from the front facing camera and by the way it's capped to 1080p a video recording with the front facing camera so guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this oneplus 7t pro frankly speaking guys what do you guys think about uh, this device uh, uh, what do you, you think about it was it necessary for them to release this uh, oneplus 7t pro because uh, i frankly feel yes it's very similar to the oneplus uh, 7 pro but uh, would love to know your thoughts what do you think about the same do let me know in the comment section below that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys